And hello fellow Tanker Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today we are in a diamond bag. Yes, we're on map Abbey. This was probably the first week that this tank that I got this tank, but I never played it. I don't know what it's all about. This was probably one of my first first, second or third game. I can't remember which one it was. Could have been my second game. It was the first one I think I got annihilated by Artie, possibly. I don't remember, boys and girls. I don't remember. I think this is my second game in Diamondback, so I knew nothing about the tank. I didn't know, you know, what penetration values this tank has. I didn't know, you know, how it behaves, how fast it is. Well, I kind of figured that it's slow because it looks kind of like tortoise. So, I decided to put gasoline on it and Binox. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to sit back and snipe. You know, this tank is slow. Especially in this situation, in this scenario, on this map. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for pushing me up to here. Yeah, in this scenario, when it's an encounter map, I was thinking to myself, oh, I want just camp it. Camp it out. Set up at J... What is it? J7? Yeah, J7. Somewhere over there. And just camp it out there. Enemy is capturing the base. What I probably should have done is I probably should have went and fought at one lane. You know, I was a top tier. I have a lot of armor. Good rate of fire, apparently. Well, well I didn't know these things, but I was kind of guessing based on how Tortoise plays. So I was thinking, you know, this is how this thing behaves. But yeah, I should have went over there and plowed. But because I came here and started to snipe, um, yeah, that's it wasn't a good choice. The problem with this tank is once you pick the flank where you want to go, that's where you got to go because there's, there's no way you can turn around and go somewhere else. <laughs> it's like wherever you're stuck, that's where you are. This is where you're playing. So maybe it was a bad decision, but it depends on the team, really. You know, I mean, I've had many of games where the teams actually went straight into the base circle. No one went to fight on the other side. So, and I had completely the other way when, you know, my entire team went that way by one two lane. And I, that's probably still the best way to do it because the map is so small. Even if you win one two lane, you probably, you'll be able to get to the base and uh, reset regardless, right? So, anyway, I thought I wanted to farm here. That's what, that's what it was all about. It was all about farming. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. It was about winning the game, guys. I thought this was the best position for me, and unfortunately, it didn't pan out. But anyway, we're going to shoot this IS-2. We take him out of the game. Uh, we're going to focus this King Tiger right now. And uh, we're going to put some shells into him. As you notice, we already switched to APCR. And that was the reasoning for this. Well, there is no real reasoning. You can just keep on continue shooting APs. But if you see at the score, we're losing the game. So... You know, if you want to bring it back, you need to pen the shots. And if you need to pen the shots, you need to have, you know, premium ammo place. in. And that's that's the only reason I have it in. Otherwise, I'll be probably still running on AP rounds. And, of course, um, our batteries die. I was kicking myself. I was like, what the hell, man? But uh, luckily, the, the way the tank is situated, it is uh, kind of facing both directions on the angle. So I was hoping that maybe I can survive this uh, until I get my batteries replaced. So I went to get my batteries. Space, where are those batteries? Dude, come on. The game. All right, all right, all right. We got batteries. We're good. Anyway, this, this guy started yellow, uh, yellowing us, so we take him out of the game. Uh, that was a pretty decent shot. And those little vanguards, man. These tanks are so OP. I'm telling you they're OP. Their tracks are OP. Uh, I bounced their tracks in like a Death Star, man. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Every time I shoot, shoot their tracks, I seem to be bouncing shells or they're absorbing the, sh the, the shells. I, I don't understand how a little tank like that can be absorbing huge shells that are, you know, uh, 350 to 370... Uh, millim millimeters of penetration, right? Anyway, regardless, we see this dreadnought. 
and we have no clue how to penetrate him. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea because this is one of the first times I've seen this guy uh, or that tank on a battlefield. And I don't know what my penetration values are. So <laughs> I don't know how to pen him, right? So we're going to play cat and mouse game with that guy. But anyway, we're holding this side as well as we can. But because right now we're kind of in a crossfire a little bit. I should probably be moving a little bit forward onto where that uh, rock is on my right hand side. But at this point in time, I see shots at this lever, so we're going to put some shells into him. They decided to go around the other, to take the other route in order to, I think they were trying to reset. But I still have shots uh, at them from here, and here I, I thought I was. I was aiming at his drive wheel, I think, but I, I didn't lead that shot properly there. I wanted to track him. So here, what are we going to do? We're trying to hit this guy in the cupola. It bounces and we're really firing APCR rounds or premium rounds. And I'm like, shit. How am I supposed to pen that guy? But we see this STA2. We put a shell into him. And uh, we're going to try to do the same thing here. I don't understand why our heavy tank lets him kind of way overexpose like that to get shots at me. Our heavy tank that is ca uh, capping at the moment, he should be pretty much providing protection for us there, fighting the guys in the cap. So we moved up here because I'm worried about uh, the guys from the left. So I want to be closer to that rock at this point in time. We see the iron rain over there, but we have no shots at that guy. But we can't really do anything. I mean, we're too slow. We can't really move anywhere. So this is the position we are in. And this is where we're going to be until the end of the game, unfortunately. But that's the nature of this thing. You just, you know, you, you just don't move much, right? Like a turtle. Uh, even though it's not a turtle. It's a diamondback. And I'm not sure why they call it diamondback. But whatever. It is what it is. So now, all of a sudden, I'm kind of in a crossfire. Kind of a pickle. Because these guys have shots at me. Now, the guy from the left has shots at me as well but luckily it is a uh, tier 7 tiger p so you notice me here i moved up to that rock now because i want to kind of separate who's firing at me i don't want these guys on the left to fire at me i just want to focus one guys that are in front of me and here i'm gonna kind of angle like that to make sure that you know i create the best possible bounce angle uh, I was kind of hoping they would be shooting me in an upper plate because if he shot me in a lower plate he would have penned me. Here we finally penetrate the diamond bag. We put a shell into his cupola. We're gonna try to do try to do the same thing but this time we're not able to do that. Now these guys are playing it smart. They're not kind of pushing it. Uh, they're kind of waiting for their team to show up and they were capping so I was hoping I could keep fighting them here like this but now that their, their teammates are off the cap this is going to be problematic because they'll be flanking me any second now so i decided to just go for it unfortunately iron rain shows up but we're going to put the shells on the uh, roof of this diamond bag iron rain pens us once tiger p shoots us from the left then we put another shell into iron rain before we die because we definitely will and yes we do and this is pretty much game over boys and girls we camped too much, obviously. We're the camping bitches. Yes. Uh, well, sometimes you gotta camp to win games. What can I tell you, boys and girls? It is what it is. But we lost. And unfortunately, we take a defeat. This was one of the few, only few games that I played in Diamond Bad Guys. And I don't really have an opinion on this tank. All I know is that it's slow. And I don't think I'm going to play a match. <laughs> because I just, I don't know if I like slow tanks anymore. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. Until next time. Happy tanking. Space Bandit Chicken.